Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 11.9, the trapezium rule, part 2. 11.9 represents chapter 11, section 9 of the personnel of the Mass Pure Mass Year 2 textbook. Now, over here, I've got a summary of what was covered in the previous part of the video. Here is an exam style question. Figure 1 shows part of the curve with equation y equal e to the power 1 over 5 x squared for x is greater than or equal to 0. The table below shows corresponding values of x and y for y equal e to the power 1 over 5 x squared. Part A, use the trapezium rule to find an estimate for the area of R. Now the area R is bounded by the curve, the line x equals 0, the line x equals 2 and the x-axis. Area R is given by the integral from 0 to 2 of y, which is e to the power 1 over 5 x squared dx. Okay, I want to estimate this particular area using the trapezium rule. Here is the trapezium rule. First of all, what is my h? Well, the h is what the x values are going up in. In this particular case, the x values are going up in 0 0.5. So you're adding 0 0.5 each time. Okay, so that's my h value. Okay, um, over here, the 1 represents y0. The e to the power 0 0.05 represents y1 and so on. So I've got y2, y3, y4. This particular integral is approximately a half h square brackets y0 plus 2 in brackets y1 plus y2 plus y3 close bracket plus y4 close square bracket. Now I can input my h y0, y1, y2, y3 and y4 into the trapezium rule. Okay so if I do this I get a half in bracket 0 0.5 square bracket 1 plus 2 in bracket e to the power 0 0.05 plus e to the power 0 0.2 plus e to the power 0 0.45 close bracket plus e to the power 0 0.8 close square bracket now if I input this into my calculator I get 2.73 So an estimate for the area R, in other words, this particular integral is just 2.73. Let's have a look at part B. Use your answer to part A to deduce an estimate for part 1, this integral, part 2, this integral. Let's start off with part 1. Firstly, we can split this integral into two parts. The integral from 0 to 2 for dx plus the integral from 0 to 2 e to the power 1 over 5 x squared dx. Now this definite integral is just 4x in square brackets 0 to 2 plus the estimation of this integral from part A was 2.73. Now ladies and gents, I put the approximate sign over here because I've estimated this integral. Now, what is my next step? I need to substitute the upper limit 2 into 4x to give me 8. Take away, substitute the lower limit 0 into 4x to give me 0 plus 2.73. Now this is equal to 10.73. Therefore, the approximation for this particular integral is just 10.73. Moving on to part two. Now part two, ladies and gents, is juicy. It's a very juicy question. Okay, now, how do I approach part two? Well, first of all, I've got this area R, okay? Limits are zero to two. I can translate it one unit to the right to give me this area over here. The limit there will be 1, the limit there will be 3. Now, does the area change? Well, it does not change because I've just shifted this whole area one unit to the right, so I can call this area R. Now, this particular area R represents the integral from 0 to 2 e to the power 1 over 5 x squared dx. What does this area R represent? Well, it will just be the integral from 1 to 3 of e to the power 1 over 5, um, not x squared, guys, it will be in bracket x minus 1 squared dx. Okay, and that is precisely the integral that I want to estimate in part 2. So what is that integral? Well, the integral from 1 to 3 of e to the power 1 over 5 x minus 1 in bracket square dx is approximately 2.73. It's just the area R shifted one unit to the right. 
Let's go back to part A. The area R is approximately 2.73. Is this area R an overestimate or an underestimate? How would you conclude? Well, you just go back to your curve. This curve over here is a convex curve. For a convex curve, if we work out the area under the curve bounded by the x-axis using the trapezium rule, our area will be an overestimate. So 2.73 is an overestimate for the area of R. What are the other type of questions that you could get on the trapezium rule? Well, one of the other type is to form a table yourself and work out the h value, which is the height of the trapezium, using the formula h equal b minus a over n where B represents the upper limit of your area, A is the lower limit of your area, N is the number of trapeziums. The second type will be to answer a question using the trapezium rule, but that question being in context. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.